In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the latest update to Dreams that increased the gameplay thermal by 12.17%. And I know the exact amount because I was smart enough to take a snapshot of what my thermal was before the update and after, and that's what it is. So I'm going to explain why it's so significant, why it raised my expectations for further updates, how I might use the extra thermal in my game, and finally, be sure to give your own opinions in the comments, and be sure to hit the like button because nobody else has been discussing this. I've searched, and uh, I'm kind of surprised and disappointed because this is a real milestone for the Dreams engine, in my opinion, and I expect to see more. If you're wondering what you could do with 12%, I'll just select one, two, three, four, five of my trucks. Copy and boom shakalaka, you got that 12% right there. Now imagine having 17 trucks on the track. That would be crazy. That's getting into sim racing territory. That's a lot for a nice little engine like Dreams. In simpler terms, each individual sculpt you place in a scene or each individual logic gadget costs roughly about 0.01%. Pretty small cost, but they add up. So with this 12%, for example, if I needed something like 1,200 more race barriers, 12% would cover that. And same with logic. Imagine what I could do with 1,200 more pieces of logic. A ton. If you want to know why my trucks are such a big deal in thermal, I'll have a closer look, and features actually. So each truck comes with full independent suspension on the front and a solid rear axle style suspension on the back. The panels here all, are all separately modeled and they can fall off, so that goes in conjunction with the collision logic system. Everything is modeled right down to the stator coils on the alternator here. We have moving parts with uh, the belt and the pulleys. We have cooling fans that work. Uh, we have the real-time driver steering here. Then we have the livery. And now getting into the logic, we've got a hell of a lot more adding up here. So we have the driving mechanics. So that includes all the forward, reverse, the braking, uh, the, the, the turning, the reverse light. I also have some other stuff in here, engine wear and tire wear. This is the collision system. Some other miscellaneous things in there, maybe. We have an AI system that's installed in every single truck, regardless of whether the player is human or AI. And this is also connected to that, but also the player, this timeline. And then we have some air tricks, flip recovery, and I've also got my lap timer and lap count logic in here. All the tricks are recognized and then printed on the board here and the LED panels. A lot of stuff going on, some other stuff I haven't mentioned like sound and other little tidbits. So that's why these trucks are a big deal. And even then, with all the optimizations I've done, each truck is less than two and a half percent in thermal. Now, if you're wondering why this raises my expectations for further updates, well, we're going to have to go back to June 2021. And that's when they advertised uh, some job positions to further enhance the engine for Dreams. And there were a few key positions there. One of them was engine programmer. And that was to improve the engine. And so I believe um, this is probably the result of, of that one almost exclusively. But there were some other really good ones, too. There was a position for physics programmer, and that was also to take uh, the Dreams physics engine and try to optimize it and make it better than it is. And since uh, the release of Dreams, there has never been an optimization or any improvements made on the physics engine. So that's why I'm hopeful that maybe the team is still working on that. And also... Now, there were two jobs in graphics, and those were interesting job descriptions as well. And they mentioned um, trying new rendering techniques and you know, trying to make the core 
rendering techniques better, things like that. And so that's why I think we might be able to expect more updates like that this year. Maybe they finally started uh, working those things out to be better, and this might just be the first one we have seen. If you're wondering what I might do with the extra thermo, I've got a few ideas here, and some of them have been out of question because I just don't want to waste thermo for little payoff. But 12% is a lot, so you might know that I have real-time driver steering with the model and the wheel here, but I don't have the driver interacting with the gear shift or the handbrake, and that's something I could, I could animate. Another thing I could do is add some nice gauges on the dash here. That's something I've put out of question until now. And then there's something that's going to take priority over both these things. Something I'm already going to do regardless, even if they didn't have this update. And each truck is going to have a unique driver model. And that's going to be modeled from these... Uh, robot block sculpts out here. I'll make some nice driver models. And because of the extra thermo, I just might be able to give the player more choices. And I think people will really appreciate that. If you want to know what my thermo is at these days, it is 37% or actually 36.3%. And that's not just because of this update. I'm always trying to do something behind the scenes. So if you want to see more videos about that, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.